and welcome to Three Ring Kennels. I'm Josh Cochran, and today we are showing, going to be showing you how to take your young puppy and teaching them basic fetch. Now, uh, Shira here is two months old today, and she's actually been retrieving for a little bit with us. Um, and we're fortunate that she was introduced to retrieving by the breeder, which most reputable breeders will do. Um, and uh, but today we're going to show you how you could do the same thing in your own house with some very simple objects and create a, a very easy way to teach your dog to retrieve. Now, today's lesson really depends heavily on the natural tendency of the dog. Um, the name Labrador Retriever obviously implies that this dog is born and bred to go get an object and bring it back to you, and that is their natural tendency. So what we're doing today is we're using that natural tendency and we're going to funnel it into a successful scenario that starts when they are just a little two month old puppy. So that way when we go outside and we're doing this with a bigger, more elaborate setup, that the dog already has this completely burned into their mind that they're going to be retrieving and doing it very successfully. So the way that you do this, the way you set them up to be successful is you use just a simple hallway like this. And it's important when you use a hallway, um, it doesn't need to be long, you can see this is maybe eight feet long, but you want a, a room where there is no other access out of the area, where the only way in and out of the room is going to be this uh, walkway where I will be. So when Shira is going to go down and pick up the toy, her only option is to immediately come back to me. This way we make sure that the pup doesn't take the toy and go off the other direction and doesn't ever get in the habit of going anywhere but immediately back to the person who sent the dog. So um, this will help create the dog to be very successful and then we will build on this as we go along. Now, what we're going to be retrieving with today is a very simple toy. This is just a little canvas bumper. Um, you could find this at any sporting goods store or about any department store. And it's just a canvas with a piece of styrofoam in it. It's nice and light, but it's a great little toy that um, Shira here loves to play with. And this is the toy that we use that is the only time it comes out is when she gets to retrieve. So you can see she's very interested in it. She really likes this toy. And if I want her to be able to retrieve with it, all I have to do is simply toss it and she's going to go grab it. Now, the other thing that I want to add to this is when we do our basic retrieve, we are going to be using the same uh, command every time we want her to retrieve. Starting from the time when she's just a little two month old pup all the way up until she's a, a well trained, very uh, trustworthy dog in the field. And the way that we do this is we are going to ha tell the dog to go pick up whatever the object is and we're going to release her by saying her name. So her name, just her name, said short and quickly will be the key for her to go pick up whatever it is that's out there that needs picking up. Today, it's a little orange canvas bumper. In a few months, she'll be outside picking up quail or ducks or a variety of other objects that we have her out there working on. So, all you have to do for this is I'm going to simply get her attention with the toy and I'm just going to give a little toss down the hallway and go, Shira! Get her clap, get her attention, and she comes right back to us and we've created our first very successful retreat. Now, Notice I did not immediately take the toy out of her mouth. <clears throat> we want to let her play with it, let her have some fun with it. Um, <clears throat> she's chewing on a little bit here, that's okay right now. We'll, we'll work on those behaviors later. We'll even play with her a little bit because we want this to be very, very fun. Uh, Two-month-old puppies want to have fun, and so we just let them kind of chew on it a little bit. They're not hurting anything at all here yet. <clears throat> now, the second time we do this, we're going to add show you the next step. Because she has been doing this, like I said, for a few weeks. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how you start to steady the dog. And what that means is eventually we're going to want to be able to be out in a hunting situation or be out somewhere, even just playing in a park, we want to be able to throw an object or have an object fall and we want to be able to have the dog wait to leave to go get it on command. And we start training this as early as we can um, so that this is a behavior that they are comfortable with. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to get her attention and the second time what I'm going to do is I'm going to steady her up between my legs kind of like this so we hold her and then once she has calmed down then I will release her by name. And this will be part of a long process of getting her used to being uh, have a little bit of control and be able to uh, retrieve on command. And so that's the goal here. So I'm going to take this little bumper here and she's chewing all over me at the moment. 
Take this little bumper, I'm going to toss it out here, and we're going to steady her up. Shira! And come right back to us. Come on in. Come on in. Losing her grip. Come on. Good girl. And she comes right back to us. That's exactly what we're looking for. So this is how you can teach your dog the beginnings of a basic retrieve. Now, we're going to use this setup in here for the first several weeks of her training. Um, we will probably do this process two or three times in a session, um, and we'll probably do this yeah, a couple times a day. Right now, it's, it's horribly cold outside and we can't do anything out. So we'll do this you know, two, three times a day, two or three retrieves at a time. She'll probably do this drill a hundred times before we ever give her an option to be able to retrieve in a different scenario.